KTRS. Dwayne Thomas, good morning. Good morning, McGraw. How did we finish up yet yesterday? Uh, good news is we finished up, like you just said. Uh, the market started with a pretty wild ride. It was down 100 points right off the bat, dropped another 50 midday. So we had a strong rally before uh, the close. All the way back, finished up 35 points for the day at a level of 24,307. All right, uh, let's talk about the news today. Now, first of all, it's a, it's a half day today, correct? Correct. There's a few days uh, during the year the market's half day, the day before the 4th of July, the day after uh, Thanksgiving, and sometimes, depends how Christmas falls, maybe Christmas Eve. Hmm. Uh, historically, market half day typically is an up day, more often than not, based on the odds and history. You know, mainly, you feel good. Don't right. you feel good today? Well, sure, absolutely, because you're on the show, one. But but secondly, it, it's usually a slower trading day, and the buyers usually do a little buying, and the sellers are, are usually off playing golf. That's the way I sort of see it. Um, you're, you're, you're right on. Now, for the most part, it's just people feel good around the holidays. Right. They're excited, and families get together, good things happening. And uh, more often than not, it's been up days. Um, but it is lighter volume, like you said which can bring volatility sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And so isn't there a rule that says the markets are not allowed to be closed three days in a row? Uh, not allowed to be closed four days in a row. Four days in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, four right. Days. Four days in a row. Four right. Cause, in a row. Right, yeah, because you yep. have like a Monday off or whatever, and then the Saturday, Sunday. Right, okay. Um, Correct. All right. Let's. Uh, so half day today and then off on Thursday and then back open. Uh, Closed Wednesday and then back open Thursday, Friday. Okay, we got that down. Um, Amazon Prime Day, what is that? Okay, so that started 2015. A uh, special day that Amazon for Prime members give better sales. Uh, July 16th is just announced as a Prime Day this year. And it's going to be 36 hours of sales, straight sales. Now, they, said they, they say they put special prices on a million items. Um, the question is, how long does, you know, I guess you have to think, is it the supply, five items, and then every, everybody else doesn't get it? Right. But it's special prices. You know, China has their singles day in November, uh, which is a huge business day. Amazon started the prime day in the summer, obviously the other side of Christmas time, and to get business going. Um, but, you know, they're promoting prime membership. That cost went up 20% recently. And um, there are some pretty good deals. My guess, and they haven't announced on what products, but my guess, Amazon Echo, Echo Dot, Amazon Fire Tablets, Kindle, e-reader, especially Amazon products will have a special discount. Yeah, I got, um, I got hoodwinked into buying an Echo or an Amazon Alexa last year because of this whole thing. So. Yeah, and how's that drone working for you? <laughs> the drone is not working very well, but everything else is working fine. All right, so it's it's July sixteenth is Prime Day, is that right? Yes, it is. Yeah, you just that moan you heard was from every retailer out there, by the way. Um, and then uh, finally, what's the story about America's most recognized brands? American most recognized brands. You know, with the Fourth of July being such a big holiday, and everybody's excited with fireworks, which ninety three percent come from China and grilling and stuff like that, uh, I thought, let's talk about recognized brands. The most recent study, the number one recognized brand in America is the Jeep. Oh. The, owned by Fiat. Yeah, owned by, owned owned by an <laughs> Italian company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Disney's number two, Coke is number three, Ford, American Express, Hershey's. It was interesting, McDonald's, KFC, um, Harley-Davidson, those were not in the top ten anymore. They used to be. Hmm. Yeah. What about apple pie? Where was apple pie on that? Uh, that was in the between ten and twenty. <laughs> All right. There you 13. go. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Dwayne, I know it's a half day today, but how do the markets look today? Uh, we look to start up about a hundred points, so a positive day. All right. Good. That's because everyone's in a good mood. Dwayne Thomas, have yourself a good fourth. Be safe, and we'll check in with you on Thursday.